Hello and welcome to Sound Insight. A few people asked how to handle multiple outputs at Werner Ensemble Pro. So I have created an empty session in Cubase or Endo and Werner Ensemble Pro. At first, I create a new instance. Let's call it Instruments. I create a contact. And we take low strings. So now I go not to the track instruments, but the rack instruments. Win Ensemble Pro, the VC3 version. Now we connect it to Win Ensemble Pro instruments. Works fine. Now we can see the mixer. This is the audio signal coming back from the ensemble, and this is the MIDI signal. So I don't need this, so I deactivate the MIDI channels. Now I create another channel. And let's choose a piano. And we choose MIDI channel 2. And at here it's the best. These are the MIDI ports, not uh, the MIDI channel. It's okay, but here the channels to say all because we define the MIDI channels inside of contact. Now we got the piano. I say here piano strings low. We create another MIDI instrument. This works fine. And now let's say I want to add a little bit reverb to the piano. Now, when I will do this, I will add the reverb to the piano too. So now we need multiple Audio outs. You can see this part, the strings low are rooted to the master bus. Master bus is going to out one and two. I could do this directly to this output. And now we send the piano to output three and four. Let's try it. So something is coming out, but we can't hear it. That's because we didn't activate the multiple outs. So we can do it here or here, activate outputs. And now we go to the mixer. So have a look at this part. Now I'll add out three and four. And now we can add the reverb. Now let's say I take this channel and now I add some strings that should be really dry. Staccato for example. And 
and we take channel three. So in here we create another channel, our MIDI track, and we say strings staccato. But now we got the reverb too, but it should be dry. So there is a trick. We need another output in here. First, we use this plus button. And all the things at this channel are going to this other output. One, two, the dry version. And now we want to use the other channels. So, and here we see there's just one output. I'll create a separate master output channel. This one. And say where it's going to uh, this part and uh, this part. Three and four. Let's name it dry. This one wet. So the grandeur is going to wet this one and this one to dry. So let's try it. Let's have a look at the mixer. At the preferences of Vienna Ensemble Pro, you can choose how many multiple outs you got. You got to have the same parameters in Cubase. for working perfect. That's it. Have fun and see you the next time.